subjects that rule and slide. Hello children, in the previous video we learned difference between rolling and sliding and identifying objects that roll and the objects that slide. This video we will see some interesting examples of objects that roll and slide. Choto and Pinky have come home from school today and are playing carom. Pinky, do you remember that we have been asked in school to make a list of items that roll and slide? Yes, Choto, I remember. Yes, let's make the list after playing. But Choto, how shall we know that which object slides and which object rolls? We will have to think about it. But see, I tossed the queen in the pit. Hey Chotu! These pieces are sliding into the pit. Oh wow! We got one example. Come on Pinky, let's see by pushing more objects like this. And Choto collected some objects from the house. Choto, now let's try to push them on the carom board. But Pinky, this carom board is very small. All these objects will not fit into it. Now how will we push objects on it? So we will push every object on the floor one by one and see which objects are rolling and which objects are sliding. Choto and Pinky started pushing the objects one by one on the floor. Come on, let's push this water bottle. See, it's rolling. Now let's try to push this notebook. It's sliding. It's pencil turn now. And it is continuously rolling. Now let's push the sharpener. It is sliding. Toto, all the surfaces of the objects which are circular, they are rolling. And the objects whose surfaces are not circular, they are sliding. Yes, Pinky. So children, can you tell me whether this rolling pin will slide or roll? You are right children. The surface of this rolling pin is circular, so it will roll. And this pencil box will slide or roll. If the surface of this pencil box is not circular, it will slide. So children, you saw that the objects whose surface is circular, they always roll on the floor. And those whose surface is not circular, they always slide on the floor. So children, in this video, we identified the objects that roll and objects that slide. In the next video, we will see some more interesting examples of identifying objects that roll and slide and learn about some common mistakes that should not be made. Till then, bye children!